Hello, this is Peter again. Thank you for coming to watch this video today. Today I'm going to talk more about spirit guides. It's a big subject, isn't it? And there's probably lots of questions you want to ask. And I can't answer all the questions. All I can do is share with you my knowledge and experience over the last 40 something years since I first connected to my spirit guide. And what I want to do is to talk to you about some of the symptoms you may feel when you connect to your spirit guide and maybe some very simple but effective ways in which you can begin to connect to your spirit guide. One thing that is always good to do is to think about what connects you to spirit. You see, I think that one of the greatest things we can do in our lives, which are often very devoted to the responsibilities of paying the bills, looking after our responsibilities, our children, our partners, and so on and so forth, and rightly so. There is a time when we need to be separated from that and, and to connect with our spirits. And the way to do that is to do something that inspires you. Now that may be different depending on which person I speak to. But what is it that you do that inspires you? What is your passion? If you encourage anyone to dance, to sing, to write because they love writing, to walk in nature, to be with animals, whatever it is that inspires you, when you are inspired, you are in spirit. And therefore, you will find that you reconnect to that source of energy which is like a conduit of power. A conduit that works right through the heart chakra and fills you with love, but also makes you feel whole. And it's like in life we go through the times when we just sleep, eat, go to work, come back, do chores, do more commitments and responsibilities, and you can come back and feel as if there's no time for you. So when you begin to do something that inspires you, even if it's for a short time, you'll find you are reconnecting to spirit, which allows your spirit guides to connect to you. You see, I think that we go through life very often, our spirit guides are watching and waiting. And how many times do you think they stood and waited for you? Almost as if we have them just as outside your room, right now. And they're waiting patiently and they're saying, one day, he or she is going to open the door, invite us in, but you know, he or she are just so focused on what they must get through right now because I don't want to let my mother down, I don't want to let my father down, I must be a good father, I must be a good mother, and I must do this, and I must get a bigger car and a bigger holiday. And then you actually find that there's no time for you. You are just there giving to everyone else. And because when you're doing that, it starts to physically drain you. You can feel disconnected from that energy which inspires you. But whatever you're going through, whatever you're feeling, however difficult or challenging the circumstances, you ask your spirit guides to draw close and immediately it's like they will be there and saying, we're here, we've been waiting so long. What took you so long? But of course then our thought processes would then often say, hang on a minute, I've just made this up. This feeling I'm getting around me, I'm just made up. I'm imagining all this, aren't I? But you know, you have to trust the feelings. When we feel something, such as a warmth, a tingling, the goosebumps, they're a physical sensation you cannot deny. And when you physically experience something, it's real. It's something which becomes part of your truth, not just part of your belief system. I grew up with beliefs that were not mine. They were part of my upbringing, my family and my parents. They weren't my beliefs. So I had to learn how to connect to what I knew I had felt. And spirit guides and the connection to spirit was something I had felt very strongly in a positive, loving way. Spirit guides, now I'm not talking about earthbound spirits. I'm not talking about the things that go bump in the night. Spirit guides are loving and kind, but some of the sensations you would feel from spirit and spirit guides are often most common ones is heat in the hands. And so particularly if you're interested in Reiki, caring for people, helping animals, 
and just wanting to offer to help to make people's lives easier, you'll find you have a natural empathy. And when you are with someone who needs help, your first thought is, I feel your difficulty and I want to help you. I feel your pain and I want to ease it. Then there's a thought that says, who can help me to help ease this pain of this person? Immediately there is a connection to a life force of energy which will flow through you and often then you will feel this heat or tingling in the hand. I, you're just not sure what to do with them but it will be there. And that's the first sign you can get often of energy and also when a spirit guide draws close who's going to help you with healing. When I first got the opportunity to offer healing to my teacher, I remember saying to her, so what do I do? And she said, just imagine there is an energy, a column of blue, coming down from above you, down through your head, and flowing through your arms into, into the person in front of you. And she said, ask for your highest guide to help you with this. Well, that's what I did. And it was almost like a silent prayer, but it was something I'd done for many years was a silent prayer, so I thought, well, why not? I'll go with what I've done. But something extraordinary happened. I felt as if there was electricity pouring down my shoulders, down my arms, into my hands, into the lady in front of me. It felt as if I was growing taller, literally felt like I was growing because the guide that had stepped in to help me with the healing was a very tall person. And as he stepped more closely into my aura, into my energy, it started to lift me up as well. And so it felt very strange, but I didn't fight it. I trusted it. What happened over the weeks and months and years was I learned to develop a comfortable, uh, effortless relationship with these regular helpers and guides of mine. So it is not as true, as dramatic as that now, but certainly it can still lift me up and it can still make my arms and hands feel bigger than mine when they're working very closely with me. And all I'm ever interested in with all these processes is not necessarily how it works and what happens and where is it coming from, but I'm always interested in healing, for instance, is how are you before and how are you afterwards? And if there is a change, which means that you are more peaceful or have less pain, more movement than you did before, I don't care how it happens. I'm just grateful and I'll say thank you. So one thing you can do for yourself is if you want to connect more strongly with your guides, why not treat yourself to just trying to meditate for 10 minutes in the day. Not falling asleep, mind you, as sometimes we do. Just find an upright chair, an upright seat, get somewhere quiet and sit down, maybe find some nice music which you really like to put on that's gentle, not sing-along music because you'll be singing along with it, and just maybe light a candle. Lighting a candle is just symbolic. It changes your awareness. There's a part of your mind that says, ah, light a candle, music, I know what's going to happen now, this is my time, this is my time to connect my guides. Then create intention, and your intention should be to make it very clear by asking for the highest guides to draw in who come close to you with love and respect. If you feel anyone or any an energy coming in a bit too strongly, a bit too enthusiastically, then just gently say, please take a step back, and immediately they will take a step back. Then you can say, come and take a step forward, and they will step forward. This is a relationship that we're learning to develop as in life, but this is with spirit. And so as we do that, we learn to open our heart. And when you open your heart to your guides, they connect to you through your hearts. They come with an unconditional love for you. And so they won't lift you up, but they will help to lift you up. They will lift your spirits. They will fill your heart with hope and courage. They may help to see you to see your situation in life a little clearer than maybe you thought it was. To help you to see that there is a positive outcome that is possible for you by giving you the strength and also the support and also allowing maybe people to come into your life that will help you as well. Now the other thing I wanted to share with you is some of the other symptoms you can get when guides draw close. Maybe some of you have had this feeling as well. Have you ever felt that you've just walked through a cobweb? You have all these tickly feelings all around the hair and the head and the face. That normally is the energy of spirit, particularly of guides. 
when they draw really close they can touch this energy here because your crown chakra begins to open the crown chakra is of course an energy point on the top of your head it connects to a very fast frequency and of course spirit and spirit guides are at a higher frequency than others people say well why can't I see them sometimes you can see them in your mind's eye if you're in a relaxed state you wouldn't see them as you would see me right now normally but think of it this way if something's at a really fast frequency think of um, a fan a cooling fan and you know that fan is there but you can't see the blades because the whizzing round but you can feel the draft right so would you say well I can't see the blades so they can't be there then you put your hands out and say, wow, I can feel this energy. Well, you find that with spirit, the energy is of that same sort of frequency. It's a faster vibration. But as you put your hand out to feel it, then there is a feeling you may feel right here. You can ask your spirit guide to touch your hand, to take you by the hand. And if you get a tingle or you get a feeling in the fingers, just acknowledge it and say thank you. And ask them to make it stronger. All of this is about trust and developing the relationship. So you know, I think it's a wonderful thing for you to be able to share this energy and to know that you too can connect with your guides in such a most profound, wonderful, simple but loving way. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you.